Hello and welcome back to CS38 Racing and this is episode 18. So we're going to be going down to the Grand Prix of Malaysia and then we've only got Qatar and Valencia to go. So if you missed the last round, we managed to get a tactical win again. We are not 93, but anyway, thank you for the appreciation. I pre you appreciate putting that number there and maybe thinking that I'm riding like Marquez, not that I'm anywhere near. All jokes aside. Okay, so we gained, we're now 20 points ahead coming into the final rounds of the championship. So we are giving ourselves a pretty good buffer, but we don't have room for error. Okay, so let's check our rider messages. I hate riders who have no humility and I see that C Racing is talking like they've won the won 10 world championships. Maybe a bit of humiliation at Sepang will take them down a peg or two. Didn't even do anything. We'll see who finish in front of whom. I didn't have a great race in Chang, and C Racing's result put me in an awkward position, but I'm not worried. There we go. I think that takes care of that. Oh, okay, so now Chantra, for whatever reason, wants to have a battle, but we were nowhere near each other in the race, so I'm not entirely sure what he's picking a bone about, but anyway, we'll find out. Let's check what the weather's going to be like. Okay, it's going to be dry, unusually dry for Malaysia. So let's see if we can get ourselves into the top qualifying and see what we can do for the race. So we've managed to make it into the top qualifying here. Uh, we're sitting in 11th, so it's not the greatest position, but it's not too bad at all. We've got the ability to go out and improve on that. In the session, I'm going to go out and set a flying lap on some used mediums and hard fronts just to get a banker lap down and then we're going to come back out for another run on softs. Okay, so we've got to see what we can do. It's a bit of a tricky track, but I do like Sepang. So to dodge a little bit of outcoming traffic here. Bit too hot into there. Oh, we're down. <coughs> well, that's going to that's going to affect our qualifying run here. Okay, we've definitely compromised this run, but let's see if we can get ourselves at least one decent banker lap in here.
deep there. So we've set a bank lap, it's not a great one. I think we should return to pit. I put on a soft front, soft rear. Let's see how we can go for one lap. Let's see what we can do with the soft soft combination. Okay, so we've managed to pull some pretty good time here. Fourth.
Got a little bit of an improvement coming here. Deep here. It'll be a marginal improvement, but we still stay fourth. Okay, so we're down here on the grid. We're gonna have to go, I'm gonna go with a medium front. I think that's the only option for the front. Now, the... I think I'm gonna have to go the hard rear. I just need to keep that as an option for longevity in the race. Okay, that was a bit more of an aggressive lap than I thought was going to be there. But we've managed to pull ourselves through quite well. We're a bit deep. down here
Had a crash, we're able to remount. Let's see if we can give ourselves... Whoa, okay. AI really back off early there. At this stage of the race we seem to have a lot stronger pace than the rest of the pack. But I know for a fact that they're going to be a lot faster towards the end of the race. Okay, so we've settled into a bit more of a rhythm here. Abelino seems to not be having a good day. Which only extends our lead in the championship. We're convincingly pulling away from Acosta at the moment.
which is pretty good considering we did have a crash and were able to recover. Now we've just got to really keep the bike the right way up. Be careful of this corner, this caught us out last time. Gonna go power mode three for the last lap. Up to wheelie there, it's going to lose us some ground. Trying to keep it as smooth as possible in these final corners. There we go, come across for a win. Recently, we managed to get a win there, so that was quite good. We've even done uh, quite good with our time there at 205.559. So let's check where our rivals finished. Tony Abellino finished just inside the points, I believe. So that puts us... That puts us. Oh, Acosta's jumped up to second in the championship now, 41 points behind us, and Umbelino has dropped to third. Okay, so we're looking like we're putting ourselves in a pretty good position here to be able to win the championship. We move up to third in the overall teams championship. 
So if you like that one guys, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification to not miss an episode here. We're trying to get this Moto 2 season wrapped up before the beginning of the GP24 game, and we're going to jump straight back into Moto 3 there most likely, um, and progress from there and see how the new game is like. Plenty of new content coming out, so make sure to keep tuned to CS38 Racing, and make sure to check out the other videos. So, we beat Chantra, we got the bonus reputation points. At GP Victory. That's worked quite well. Is it gonna be, looks like it's gonna be versing Acosta. As he stepped up to second in the championship. So, finish in front of Acosta in the standings as we go into Qatar. Alright, stay safe, have fun, see you on the next one, bye!